Hello everyone, this is our foyer, living room and dining room on the left. And this is family room before. And this is the office before picture. And this is our master bedroom where the, we sleep in. Welcome to Saigon Cook Travel. I am Saigon Cook. So this is after picture at the foyer, living room on the left, and uh, the dining room on the right. You can see this is finished, but not totally finished. But I make the video for you to see the real uh, work that the worker did. So this is the uh, foyer. We have the two-story foyer and um, a living room. That why you can see um, the windows at the bottom and the windows on top. This house is located is in very good position. The uh, in the morning the uh, lights coming from the back, and in the afternoon the lights coming from the front. On way, uh, very light, um, a lot of sunshine. So you just see in our living room with the stair in the middle there, and the stair go upstairs. The upstairs already replaced carpet with hardwood floor, but I need to make another video to show you uh, up there. Uh, in this video, only the first floor. So this again, the big part of the living room. And then the stairs, and then a small part um, on the left, the stairs. So this piece, uh, we will put like a plants or something like that. Now this is the view, the living room view in from the dining room. And now the dining room view in from the stairs. And the, that is the hallway goes straight to the family room and i show you this again the dining room with the chandelier you can see the lower of the house turn lights on right there it's still messy because the worker took off when the doors of closet and our bedroom and they put there so that they can work and their tunes they didn't come pick it up yet you can see this area is two stories so very spacious and very um, nice and this is the tray ceiling of the dining room and you can see on the columns there they make very good quality house the uh, the edge of the right one is round you can see there it's not straight uh, 90 degree angle it's 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 a 22 degree angle it's size so this is the home way that goes straight to powder room and on the left is family room and the kitchen. No, on the, that on the right, the family room, the kitchen and the powder room. And on the left is the home office. And this door go to the laundry room, to the garage, and this the closet. So everything is still in raw thing. It's not finished yet. This is home office.
and I show you here the Wi-Fi is and uh, due to the construction uh, my husband need to put the Wi-Fi box in that bag and hang it on the door so that the worker can work on the floor and we back out the uh, hallway to the family room this is the whole family room before it's part is carpet the part is the vinyl flooring this is on the left is my kitchen so this is the law inspected the floor after uh, the workers done at this point if we are disappointed and we can point out that uh, uh, the worker will fix this or that you can see this is the left side uh, to the kitchen the kitchen is still uh, uh, the place that store everything now and this is the wind the door that go uh, outside at the backyard and this is the whole picture of the family room you can view the dining room from here and now i take you view to the backyard and this is the door to the master bedroom the master bedroom the place that we replace the travertine floor is um, where the bed will be the rest slates in the bathroom and uh, the wood on the uh, sitting place so we don't need to to replace this so first the worker will pour cell leveling layer to make it um, to make the floors very flat so that the the stone travertine sit on top nicely and it's easy for them to uh, lay the floor the cell leveling stuff you just need uh, to mix with the water at the batch uh, be, uh, ratio that so or show on the uh, back and after a few days dry now the worker uh, raw the red light you can see there and determine which is the first tile will lay so this is the stuff it's called thin set mortar uh, with polymer you need to have the one with polymer so that it's um, hold the floor better, uh, the uh, stone better. So they use the saw, the um, table saw, and the right angle as a grinder to cut the floor, um, the stone. And this is the small uh, stone. They will cut the. Um, that at the bottom of the door casing so that the stone go underneath it to make it uh, a beautiful finish so now this is uh, they lay they put the mortar on top on the floor now and this is the first of tie that they put down and after that they measure and cut on others ties you can see the rich did need to be there or uh, riches like that so that the, the ties can sit nutly and securely onto the floor. 
and this is the the space that they just put in you can see they measure and cut the ties where they needed to uh, in under the door along the uh, the rooms you can see it's on depends on the red um, line on the floor you can see now this is the very tricky place the stairs you can see the stair bending like that today they need to have a very special worker that very good on his uh, experience to lay the floor because if you don't have the nice worker they cut not fit and snuck to the uh, stairs opening or they waste a lot of your ties it costs a lot of money the ties we order they are traveled in stones and and they come they came on the way from turkey and the cost of the time, the cost of the motor, the cost of labor and everything. Every time if they make a mistake on one time, so it costs you a lot of money. But we lucky we got this company. They are super they have super workers. This is Masu and the other one on the stair is a uh, oriander and um, the one to lay the floor is a uh, polo so you can see they worked very very responsibly you can see they just need to put the floor down no one no one will uh, realize that they need to they needed to step on it to make everything on level you can see they don't need the boss their boss supervise they are so nice worker oh, working they came early in the morning, 8 to 6, and they just um, stopped a little for lunch. So that's why I um, like them, I love them, and I make food for them all the time. And I am grateful that I got very good workers to work on our floor. You see how they lay the floor? Very good stroke to put the mortar on the floor. And they cut off the tie to fit on the space. You can see how you can see the level of ex expertise right there so this is the method how americans uh, re install the floor in general and this is our uh, travertine ties we like the looks of marble but the marble can be a turn off for somebody 
because the, you never know you will sell your house one day the marble look nice but for somebody they will afraid that they uh, slippery and uh, for example the own people they can slip and fall so the travel team is also stones and um, it look uh, it the purpose of not uh, slippery is uh, uh, superb so after they lay the floor and get the floor settled for a few days this is the day that they go over and put the ground on top of the uh, spaces between the ties and uh, you can see this stuff called graft and uh, we chose the color the same color with the ties so it's not put out it blends in with the floor so after they put down the um, ground they go over back and remove on the extra ground on top of the floor at this point if you're not careful you are left the ground on ties too long you will have the haze over the ties so the next thing that he cleans the floor did it Pablo Polo he uh, cleaned the floor we so grateful he worked so hard and very careful now it's when it's done now it's my husband um, go over to put the corner around you can see there is gaps there are gaps between the ties and the wall and the baseball you can see so we need to cover that so my husband cut the quarter round and he uh, nailed it, nailed them in and then um, he cock and uh, pens and that's it thank you for watching bye bye